Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm just going to do a green eye lock and I'm using the Jaclyn Hill Dark Magic palette. I want a smoky eye but I'm sick of doing a black smoky eye or a brown smoky eye. So I'm going to be using this palette. I believe this is from the Vault Collection but I bought this on Depop because I just wanted this palette. I didn't want the other ones. I'm up like I'm high enough because... Obviously I have to use my blue tripod to do my makeup looks because I've got me the one over there and it's a nightmare. <clears throat> anyway, I've done my base, I've done my foundation and I've used... And what I've used for my base... Basically I put that number 7 skin illuminator on first. Then I used foundation number 2.1P from The Ordinary. Now that's supposed to be a dupe of MAC. I went online and there's like, you can search where, if you know what your colour is for MAC, you can find like a dupe on The Ordinary. And I think it's about seven, eight pound a bottle. I could be wrong, but I've had it a while. You can see like I've got just under half a bottle left. Because I'm wanting like a darker look today. I've done my brows, which obviously, you know, I hate doing brows. And I've just set my face with some... Fit me, translucent. I don't even think it's translucent. I can't see the colour, but it's number two, three, five. And I'm just hoping I don't get fallout all over my face because I know my shadows do have quite a bit of fallout. So I'm doing makeup today. I'm gonna be cooking Chrissy a meal tonight. Ian only cooks me one. We do it now and again, but with lockdown being on, and we don't really go out. I'd rather stop in. I thought. I'll cook in one for a change. So, first of all, and I'm just going to use my mop brushes. There is a YouTube video up of me unpacking these. And they are really, really good. So I'm going to try and just use them brushes out that pack. Right, so I'm going to go in with Poof. Um, I have done, like you say, my eyebrows. And I've just set it with some... Now I've set my face and everything and I haven't even done my cream contour or nothing so I'm going to have to do a powder contour. I've just used some of the Revolution Pro that lasts for ages and full cover camouflage concealer and 0 0.5. That was just to carve out my brows. I'm going to go on that one called Poof. And I'm hoping you can see this because like I said I did try and wingle my me, me camera. Um, I do have a big mirror there, as you know, and my smaller mirror here is what I use to do my makeup. Like when we have a meal in, like I still like to dress up as though I'm going out, and I haven't got a clue what to wear. I can't wear like I've got to be careful where I wear because I'm cooking in the kitchen, and obviously I don't want to. Get my claws splashed. So that's just all over the lid for now. I can't tell you what brushes I'm using because on these ones it doesn't say what they are. Right, so I'm going to go in with mm, Portion, which is this like khaki coloured green. And I'm just going to put that in my transition and I think I'm going to use, I'm going to use that brush, like a detailer brush first. I'll probably end up using my dresser brushes because I don't like them brushes. I'm just going to go in my crease because I don't want this looking messy so I want to do this first rather than just so your pigment today. I want to go, I don't want to go straight in with a blender and brush in case. I mess it up. I don't have a hooded eyes, which makes it a nightmare when I'm doing like eye looks. Oh, I don't know how this is going to look because I haven't done this look before. I've used the palette, I think, once before, but I haven't done this look. Obviously I've got hooded eyes and I am 48 so I will have wrinkles and things which is a nightmare when you're trying to 
costly. Next up, I'm just going, like, you know where your eye socket is? Just in the eye socket. I'm trying to pack as much colour as I can. Top my brush so I don't get fall out all over my face. You can see what I'm trying to do. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to be blending it out. Now I'm hoping I have enough space on my phone to do with this. That's why I done my base first. It was really just an eye lock. I wanted to show you using this palette. So I'm going to use that fluffy brush that I picked up earlier. And I'm just going to blend that. I'll probably end up having to use this brush and dip it into the pan because I'm wanting that higher so I'm just going to go in and blend. I'm just checking to make sure I'm not getting no fall out. I'm hoping I can get away with doing the full look with this but I've got a feeling I'm going to have to use my dress up brush I will show you a close up of this when I've completed my look in a better light basically I'm adding a little bit on and I'm just trying to blend it over where I've already done and trying to smoke it out Can you see the difference? So I'm just going to not put anything on. I'm just going to try and blend what I've already done. See how much that comes out. Right now I know I'm going to have to go in. So tap your brush. Pat it on first. All the way along. Don't like dive straight in. Just pack it on like that and then start blending. Like I said, this is how I do my makeup. In fact, I do my makeup all different ways. So, this is what works for me. Like I said, I've got hooded eyes. And obviously, mature skin, so I do have wrinkles and bags and. And now I'm just trying to get them both the same. So I always pat first. Especially with the mark colours, because you do get a lot of fallout. I know. Oh, you, can hear, you can hear one of the bands in the background. It's all badly on his DS. One of the twins. Like, I'm trying to come out like and keep it straight because I know I need to go under my eye and join it up. So just keep blending. This is my worst side because I have like a wrinkle here. And if I don't, like, stretch my eye, you know, I end up with a white patch. Like, I want this really smoky because, like I say, I want, like, a dramatic look. I come a little bit higher up. Bradley! Get carried away. Uh -huh. This is 
a gorgeous green. It doesn't look anything like what's in the palette. So just take your time. And that's what I've done up to now. And like I said, it's that one there. Portion. Right, so I'm just going to leave that for now. In fact, I'm going to do this side a bit more because the side that I hate the most. Because it's... It's not matching. Do you always do that? You'll do one side and it look perfect. So you try to rectify the other side and then you end up going back to the other one again. Right. Just gonna go on the edge. Right, that's that. Right, I'll probably end up having to go back into it. God knows what I'm gonna do with this. Right, so that's that one. And I'm going to go in with this brush that's in that set. If I use a different brush out the set, I'll tell you. And I'm going into Trickery, which is like a shimmery green. Now, I'm going to have to be careful with this one because this is really pigmented. And I'm just going to put all over the lid. So I'll literally... All on the lid. I always tap my brush on top of my mirror just to get my file out. Do the other one. See, I like my face really bronze and dark. That's why I can't believe I forgot to do my contour. And I thought I'll do it all on camera and I'll just put my base on. But then I remembered I usually do a liquid contour or a cream contour so right that's just on your lid all over the lid this is really a simple eye look that I'm doing I mean anybody can do this then I'm gonna get right I'm gonna get that pencil type brush that I got earlier and I'm gonna go in inside job which is this other green which is a dark green and i'm just going to go right into the crease which means it just joins like them both colors together just in the crease I'm just going to bring it here because, like I said, I want a connection so I can go under my eyes. Anybody else will concentrate and feel like they stop breathing. That's literally just in my crease. I think I've done this one a bit more smokier than that one. Because for some reason it looks darker. I 
Oh, there goes my nose again. Right. That was the brush that I had portion on. So I'm going to dip back into portion. And I'm just going to go over. Not right on it. Just off the top half of that. Just to blend it. It just blends those colours together. Just so it's not too harsh. Right, so I think the vault collection is about thirty odd pounds, and I didn't want the full collection. I just wanted that palette, so I went on Depop, and I think I paid about ten pounds for it. So you can see the state of that brush now. So it is really pigmented. Right, I'm just checking under my eyes. Right, so that's that. Now I'm gonna get. Looks like I'm using every brush in this set. This is the pointed one that I haven't used, and I'm going back into portion again. That khaki colour. I'm going to go under. Bradley! Posh Camera. Right. Under here. connect them together like that and because I want to make it a little bit more different I want to go into the blue called busted and I'm going to put some of that there was really a lot of fallout off this palette, but it's so pigmented. Like that's on there and you wouldn't think it was a blue and it just darkens it up so you're not putting black on. Because obviously black could be too harsh. Can you see what I'm doing? I thought I wanted to do my makeup, I thought oh, I want to try something different. And I thought, right, I'm gonna use my dark magic palette. Right. Now that that's still got like a portion on the inside job on, so I'm just gonna come out a little bit more on the side. Now right in because it's got a bit of blue on and I don't want to darken all that. You see where it's just darkened up the outer bit a touch. If I put anything else on the brush, just bringing it out a bit. Out and over, like that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Right, and I'm going to get this very, very fine pencil one. Only because I've used one, two, three, four, five, six brushes. So it's a good way of using that brush set as well. If you want to do this look. And you feel like you're not using any brushes. Right, and I'm wanting a bit of a white. So I'm going to go into... I'm just going to get... I'm going to be using this palette anyway for my contouring. To see what white you use any white. And I know that's got a big white in it. So I'm going to go into that white. I'm going to go right in the corner. Like that. Just to highlight it. And then I'm going to go into the silver called Power Cut. And I think I'll spray my brush. Just some set and spray it. You literally only have to touch that power cut one. And I'm going to go over that white. I want to put the white down first to make that silver pop a bit more. Like 
like that. I'm just going to give that brush a wipe, dry it off, because I'm wanting this grain, so I'm going to go an inside job. And it, that is a very fine brush. And I'm wanting to go all the way. In. I should have done this before I had my highlight. Back into the blue. And I'm going to wipe one of those thinner brushes and dry it off a bit because I don't want it wet. Lovely hand. And I'm going to go um, just for nothing on it. I'm just going to try to wipe it off. I don't think it's fluffy enough. I haven't got another fluffy brush. Right, I'm just going to Go over that, nothing on it, just to blend them two colours together. Soften it up a bit. Like that. And I'm going to use, I wanted a, a black, a green eyeliner, and this one's the Rimmel. Now, these usually retail about £8. This is the 005 Emerald Rimmel, and the Pound Shop. We're selling them. Hi guys, I'm back. Um, I had an eye, so now I wondered what it was. These were going in the pound shop. I just got obviously for a pound, and you get like the little the little brush with them. So and I knew I knew what they were. And I knew how good they were because I used to buy the black ones. So I think I bought about five of them, and it's like a little gel pot, and they're lovely. So I'm going to put that on my waterline. I mean, I haven't used this for ages and it's like, it hasn't gone out or anything. And like I so, said, look, it's just like a little gel pot and a brush. So, and I know this doesn't move. You could use it as a black because it is really, really dark. I mean, I bought these ages ago, so I don't know if you can still get them, but any green eyeliner. Just make sure there's no bits on my brush. Like that. Here's Chrissy coming in. Like that. And there's your eye look. So I'm going to go out and do my contour. Put my lashes on and put some mascara on and then I'll be back with the finished look. Hi guys, I'm back. Um basically I've done my face like I normally do. I'll use that big HD contour palette. Contour, that one. I use some of that. I used like when I do my contour my bronze and basically I use all sorts. I used that. I used some of that one. I used a little bit of that one. Like, cause obviously I want contour bronzing. I put a little bit of um, baking powder under the eyes and then just swept it off. I didn't leave it on to bake. I've put on my lashes and I used this blusher out of that kit and I used that Sophie highlighter palette and basically I just put my brush on these for to do my my highlighter my highlight and the highlighter and um, basically my lashes I just buy them off eBay I got all different ones you can get like see if I can show you them I got all different ones like 
You can get like a set of five lashes for just over a pound. So there's those ones I've got. There's those ones I've got. And there's those ones. I think those are the ones I'm wearing now, which is 3D126. Um, if you want the link to these, I think I've still got them on my phone. But they're only, I think, I think they're about 180 for five pairs. I mean, that's all I use all the time, just eBay lashes. Like I say, I like to get more, more for my money. The lipstick combination I've got on is, it's just an old lip pencil. It says line up, lip line up pencil in me. I have no idea where I got that from. I've had it for ages. Um, I don't think it sits. That must be the name of the brand, me. And I used my favourite Superstate Matte Ink in number 65 Seductress. So I'll probably end up putting a bit more bronzer now on my face tonight. And, oh, and I used a touch of... I can go out of it because I have it over there because it's broke. Revolution Vivid Baked Bronzer Rock on Wild. So I'll probably put more bronzer on my face tonight. And then, because I mean, it's only just hitting one o'clock now. So that's the eye look using the Jaclyn Hill. I haven't done my art, I've just probably set this brand. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with my hair yet, but no doubt you'll probably see a photo all later on Instagram. So I'll see if I can get you in a better light. So I'll stand in front of the. So there's the eyelash. Yeah, that eyelash was going on wonky. So, but you can see where I've blended. I am gonna get a highlighter and I'm gonna pour a little bit of highlight just on there, which I forgot to do. And I'll probably curl my hair or something. So guys, that's the eyelash using. The Dark Magic Jacqueline Hill palette. So thanks for watching and oh till next time. Bye.